Which professional football player wrote a song that reached the top of the charts back in 1991? It was no ordinary rock and roll song either. It was a love ballad. Or perhaps it would be more appropriately described as a song about the lack of love as a ballad. Bonnie Raitt would record the song for her album Luck of the Draw, and the song became a hit. Written by the songwriting team based out of Nashville, Mike Reed and Alan Chamblin both were well known for their successes in the country music arena. The two songwriters didn't work exclusively with each other and had very different backgrounds before ending up in Tennessee. Chamblin was a real estate appraiser, and Reed? Well, Mike Reed was a defensive lineman who spent five seasons with the Cincinnati Bengals in the National Football League, earning multiple trips to the Pro Bowl before retiring in 1974. While in college at Penn State, he majored in music and was a classically trained pianist. After leaving the NFL, Reed focused on his music, both performing and as a writer, providing songs for artists Ronnie Millsap, Tanya Tucker, Alabama, and Conway Twitty, to name a few. When Bonnie recorded the song, Bruce Hornsby provided the piano accompaniment, and when released as a single, it became an audience favorite. Rate said in a 2002 NPR interview, I love that song and so does the audience. So it's almost a sacred moment when you share that, the depth of pain with your audience. Because they get really quiet and I have to summon some other place in order to honor that space. Although Mike Reed has left the NFL far behind, he does reminisce about being a high draft pick for the Bengals. Everything just kind of grabbed me and kind of dragged me along. You have a press conference, this is our number one draft pick. They had a grand piano there. So it was the, probably the only time in the history of the NFL <laughs> that a draft pick at his pre first press conference played the piano. I think I played a Chopin prelude or something, you know. And I'm sure they're thinking about it now, they probably thought, I don't know, what is with this guy? The song I Can't Make You Love Me would be rewritten and worked on repeatedly by Reed and Shamblin before finally being selected by Bonnie Raitt. But it is the history of Mike Reed, the NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year in 1970, that makes the song all that more memorable. <laughs>